Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Papa. Boy, that was pretty lame. Are you guys still asleep? I'll give you one more chance. This is your one chance to use your outdoor voice in church, okay? Good morning, everyone. All right, that's a little bit better. Thank you. How is everyone this morning? Are you enjoying all this snow? No. <laughs> well, I think there's a, a, a bunch of adults out here that would agree with you. Who's enjoying the snow? Well, there's a few of us. Okay. I don't like the shoveling part. So, I have some dominoes with me this morning. Who knows how to play dominoes? Wow. I'm surprised that you all know how to play dominoes. Okay. Well, they have... They have dots on them that represent numbers, don't they? Like this one is, has a six and a five. And you play them by laying them on a table, and you line the numbers up, and you add them up, and you get points when they add up to multiples of five, like five or 10 or 15, right? Well, I have, uh, well, I have a six and a five. So that, how much is six and five? 11, is that right? So there's another thing that, I like to do with dominoes, and I bet you like to do it with them, too. What's that, Becca? Yeah, stack them up, and then you take one down, and they all go down. Yeah, you line them up, and then you knock them down. Sort of like this. I'm certainly not going to do all of them, but we'll do a couple. Is this what you mean? Okay. Okay, I have a domino in my hand, and... I want somebody, I want you to pick a number between 1 and 12. What's your, what's your number? What's your number? What's your number? What's your number? What's your 12? And what's her number? Okay. Who picked 4? Somebody picked 4? Okay, it's a 2, so you're closest. So you get to knock them over. Let me get a, put a couple more up. Oops. Oh, well. I didn't mean to do that. It's hard, especially on this table, because it's not a real hard top on the table. It's sort of soft. Okay, Becca. Come knock them over. Oops. Maybe I stuck them too far apart. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, just one domino falling over was able to knock all the rest of them over. That's pretty cool, huh? So this one domino had an influence on all the rest of them. And people are like that too, aren't they? Something that I say or do could have an influence on everybody in here. Or something that you say or do could have an influence on all the people around you that hear you. And it's same the other way around too. Other people can have an influence on you, right? Something that your mom says or tells you to do has an influence on you, or something a friend at school says or does might have an influence on you. And sometimes those are good influences, right? Like when, you're, when your mom has a good influence on you, like when you watch her do stuff that's the right thing to do, and then you copy what she does, right? And so that's a good thing. That's a good influence when your parents have a good influence on you. But people can also have a bad influence, and that's not good. Like when at school, have you ever gotten in trouble for doing something that you shouldn't have done, and then your excuse was, well, everybody else was doing it? Now raise your hand if that's ever happened to you. Yeah. Okay. So we got to be careful about those kind of things, don't we? So don't let people influence you in a negative way just because everybody else is doing it. Because just because everybody else is doing it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Okay? Do you, do, do you, do you guys know what a lemming is? Raise your hand if you know what a lemming is. Okay. A lemming is an animal, and it's a type of animal that they kind of pack together and they all do the same thing at the same time. And I, I remember a long time ago there was a computer game called Lemmings. 
And what they would do is if one jumped off a cliff, they would all follow them. So that's, that's been a good example of a negative influence, okay? So don't do something just because everybody else does it. You make sure it's the right thing to do. You ask your mom or your parents or your grandparents, or you ask God, is this something I should be doing? Yes, Becca. It's like if someone said, jump off a cliff, would you do it? Exactly. You don't do something just because somebody else tells you to do it or just because somebody else does it. That's exactly right. So whenever something like that happens, you think about it and you make sure that what you're doing is the right thing. Not because everybody else is doing it, but because it's what God wants you to do. Okay? So let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for allowing us to get together and worship in your name. And we thank you for the blessing of our children and the good examples that we can set for them and the wonderful example that your Son, our Savior, set for all of us. We ask that you give us the strength and the courage and the wisdom to do what is right rather than to do what everyone else is doing. And all these things we pray in Jesus' name as we pray the prayer he taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.